what is up fellow gym rat party people for those that don't know me i have been on my fitness journey for a couple years now and throughout my own experience i've just become so passionate now i want to share with other people and let y'all follow along my journey and yeah hopefully i can help at least one person out there because one is better than zero whether you're a gym newbie or you just want to follow my channel or if you're a seasoned pro Hopefully I can inspire some of y'all. My name is Kylie, otherwise known as King Size Kai on Instagram. Go check it out. I'm just so ecstatic to be starting this channel finally. Um, I will be sharing some fun and insightful and tasty and sometimes ridiculous content with y'all. Um, everything from workout tips, macro friendly recipes, the inside scoop of my 10 week out prep which is what this video is all about. Um, I have been prepping the last six weeks too. Yeah, I just haven't recorded all of it, but I also will be taste testing some of the latest healthy snacks. And when I'm off prep, I'll be taste testing some of the unhealthy snacks. But yeah, let's go make some rice cakes and eggs before we go hit a lift. That is, mm. So I get the apple cinnamon rice cakes and I put a little slither of peanut butter on it and then chopped up bananas and i'm telling y'all if heaven was a thing this that that is it <laughs> period <laughs> so good closest thing i can get to cake and prep on my way to my favorite part of the day gym time <laughs> i'm gonna leave it 100 stack with y'all but you are one workout away from a better mood I want to say it was like 2019 when I started going to like Planet, like maybe like three times a week. I call it Weenie Hut Junior just because it is so different from finding a gym in an environment that you actually like feel like you're gym intimidated. <laughs> it was nice to go back to Planet every now and again, but to have that as my main gym like it doesn't it doesn't feel like home to me you got to find that environment and atmosphere that like you're able to level up find that environment got to target and it's one of those days where i'm feeling like getting a lani and i didn't have any so yeah i can't do this every single day because we're balling on a fatty budget <laughs> i suck at this youtube shit just Everybody sucks at something they first start at, so everyone sucks at the beginning. You gotta, you gotta embrace it. Y'all, this shit's so good. I couldn't open it on camera because it didn't make it that long. <laughs> also just wiped out at Target and literally slid, so <laughs> I didn't fall on my ass. Just got to the gym. This is my shirt. It has butterflies, which are like my favorite thing. I'm trying to be a jacked butterfly, so yeah, let's go hit back. She wants to go get it. She wants to go get it. She wants to spin it, go get it. She wants to break it, go get it. She wants this, go she can get it. She wants this, go get it. Lose with the spice, she get it. Same thing I got, she get it. Yeah, Billy said that she get it. How about the bitch, she get it? Guys, I'm back from the gym. Lots of my videos didn't record all the way because I have no storage and I completely forgot to delete over 35,000 photos on my phone. Um, yeah, I did 45 minutes of cardio. I'm kind of stupid because I also have a posing clinic today. My first ever posing clinic. I don't know about y'all, but one minute doesn't feel like a lot until you do cardio. I will say the past six weeks of prep, of cutting, have been really nice. I've heard from other people who have competed in the past that like, yeah, like you're gonna have more energy, you're gonna be more motivated in the beginning of prep because you see progress. One thing I've really learned is that you wanna do things gradually. You don't wanna gas yourself out or else you're not gonna wanna finish the race. Um, so definitely have been cutting my cows like not too low. My days where I am working harder and I have like my two hour gym sessions, I'll eat like 1500, 1600, depends on the day. 
I do have a couple days of the week where I have higher carb days. So that's been really nice. The days where I take rest days, I usually don't eat as many carbs as I would on a day where I'm, you know, like getting my gains. Okay, so I'm currently on my way to the posing clinic. I'm really excited, but I'm also nervous as hell. I'm getting flashbacks to the time I went with my boyfriend to his posing clinic, and I was just speculating. Okay, I was like the only speculator there and I was listening to the guy who was talking and he was like asking people to demonstrate certain categories and everything and like he called my name and I was a little caught off guard because I'm like, wait, like I'm here speculating. Like he didn't actually, but he did. And he was like, I want you to demonstrate bikini. <laughs> no pressure, like so. <laughs> Me not knowing what the hell I was doing, I went into the middle. He said a hit front pose. I did double bicep, like, that's some bikini pose, right? And I have no idea what I'm doing. So, if I don't make it out alive, tell my mom I love her. And we also got Dave Lieberman here to talk about his- Guys, I just did my first posing clinic ever, and it was like, oh, so wild, so fun. I met so many amazing girlies, and one of them is actually going to be competing in the amateur Arnold this weekend and I'm going to the Arnold Classic. So I'm gonna go cheer her on. Her name is Emily and she's just such a free spirit. I love her. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was gym intimidating um, seeing so many people cause there was like all levels there. It was people who are like 16 weeks out. There was somebody who was one week out, which is Emily. And then people who were like four weeks out who looked like they were in peak week. So I was like, damn, I'm gonna look like that. <laughs> I don't know, I'm thinking so many things right now, but <laughs> it doesn't matter how spectacular your physique is. If you do not nail down posing um, or like rehearse it every single day, that could make or break your, your placement. Like you could, you could literally be like number one physique, but like get number five because your posing didn't like look as good and as delicate as the others. Like you gotta practice it every day so it comes with ease and it's just like clockwork when you hit the stage. Like a layup in basketball, that's like posing for bodybuilding. All of them were so sweet and so helpful and answered all my questions. Like, <laughs> I'm just so happy. I am really excited because now I have a routine. testing these macro friendly Reese's I made. <laughs> they came out a little more like pudding-y than I wanted them to, the top part at least. I should have just done dark chocolate on the bottom and dark chocolate on the top, but I was going for something fun and I did like cocoa powder with Greek yogurt. I put protein powder inside of the peanut butter just to make it more protein filled. Um, but yeah, I would advise just to put dark chocolate on the top too. Mmm, but it definitely tastes better than it looks. Chef Coyote, baby. <laughs> I heard a knock upon my door the other day. I opened it to find that staring in my face. The feel of mortal stock and still reverberates. Everywhere I go, I drag this coffin just in case.
some creatine powder because I have the capsules of the monohydrate and I literally just want to throw up every time I eat it. Yeah. Okay, we'll save those for last because mm -hmm. these are goodies. And then, oh my god, guys, gluten free proteins. Look at this creamy strawberry. This is gonna make me ooh la la. <laughs> And then for our workout today, we are splitting one of these legendary, legendary pop tarts. Pop -tarts. I'm actually so excited because these are this is like the OG strawberry pop tart. Yeah, it's gonna be so the good. The best pop tart. Got trippy hippie Alani new for the workout today, and I'm gonna be mixing these two. Oh yeah, peach isn't my like first favorite, but oh, I, I got juicy peach because today's leg day, and maybe maybe I'll manifest something here. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leg day necessities, baby. That. Oh my god. Here, rip this in half. <laughs> I'm trying to put the cup down for a minute, but um. But honestly, it ain't nobody's business. Was in my cup? Was in your cup? Was in their cup? It's your cup. Drink it. So whatever the hell was in my cup, the only reaction I did was got more popular. More successful, did a lot more things that I've ever done. I probably should pick that cup back up. <laughs> first thing first, perk popper. Drink always muddy, flooded. Crush ice in the cup, it look diamond studded. Slushy, fucking codeine raw. But I ain't busting. Throw her in a drink, she throw me in park. And I ain't budging. Ooh, some say the lean. Makes the drink seem spectacular. While Keisha ain't no activist, but she can act like her. Shivering, I'm leaning, pivoting. Chill, relax, fine. Let me pull up a line. Ring, ring around the rosy. Leaning got me dozing. Rap everybody up into cups, keep her cold. Fire, I'm blowing like King Koopa Yoshi Murder, she rolled me with a purple emoji Yeah, the days are just colder without her Without that purple, I'm blue The Lakers just golden without her I don't go nowhere without her Hot in my soda, Osama When it come to that wild I got that whole better flagger Keisha One minute I'm done with you The next one I be running back Go your way, I go my way But somehow we be still attached Trying to find my answers with this cup But ain't no truth in it They be like I'm done for fucking with you I spend stupid racks I'm sitting here knowing I don't need you pouring O's in the lid, sipping, chasing with my reef. Can't get my mind on Waikisha. Watch me put my heart in this cup. In my feelings, she my therapist. I'ma talk to this cup. I'm sitting here looking at Keisha like, do you love me? Do you love me not? Damn, you hit the spot. Taste like candy, candy. sweet like fruit, ooh. wet like water. Can I love on you? Withdrawals, I'm feeling different. Every day I need a dose. Every now and then I'm missing. I got my times when I go ghost. But she mine. I'm stamping her. Priority status, so them other bitches mad at her. Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. Today, I am taking a rest day, but I'm still going to do cardio. But I will take you guys through a meal prep and what I will be prepping for the next three days. Oh, and Willow wants to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we made it to Market District, and I'm just going to buy a couple things before I show y'all how I meal prep. What I plan to prepare for work today since I work a seven hour shift tonight. It's such a weird schedule, but I'm honestly attuned to it now. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how I make meals and yeah, what I plan to bring. <laughs> rest day so I'll be walking and doing cardio at my house um, in my little tiny home gym. I don't really know how to work this treadmill because it's like from the 1800s. This is my grandpa's 
Um, but yeah, it doesn't even have a place for a cup holder. So I'm just gonna, I don't know if it's counterintuitive, but I will be eating a sucker while walking. I'm not running, so there's no choking hazard here, but I don't know. I just feel like I need to reward myself because I've been pretty good with the diet this week and this is giving me motivation, this little ball. This is the fit today. We are heading full body today because my whole week is kind of out of order because I wanted to hit legs with Allie on Monday. I'm making egg whites and protein pancakes. I added about 150 grams of egg whites and then one eighth of a cup of fat-free cheese just to give it some extra flavor since I can't really do much. Gotta get creative with it. I feel high out. Oh my. Oh my god, guys, I think I just saw a penguin walk by. Come on, Ohio, is it even the same day as it was this morning? Well, peeps, that's a wrap on this week's video. Just because this weekend I know is going to be so long, I am going to the Arnold Classic, and I will be vlogging there, but I think that'll be better for my week two video. Um, I hope you found this at least a little bit entertaining, and if you didn't, there's always next week. <laughs> So yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. And in the meantime, don't forget to smash, not pass, that subscribe button. And if you want to, you can share with your friends and family and even your enemies. I'm not even picky at all. And just remember, stay healthy, stay silly, peace out.